Welcome to Everyday Linux User. In today's video, I will show you how to run Android apps within Zorin OS using Wadroid. The first thing we will do is open a terminal and you can open this from the menu or by pressing Control, Alt and T at the same time. All commands required will be added into the description of the video so you don't need to take notes. Let's start by getting our system up to date. Run sudo apt update, which pulls down the latest repository information and then run sudo apt upgrade to update your system. Now we will need to install a couple of packages, so type sudo apt install lxc curl ca hyphen certificates as shown on the screen. Then clear the screen by typing clear. So now we are going to use curl that we installed in the previous command to get wadroid. Type curl space https colon forward slash forward slash repo.wadro.id then the pipe symbol then sudo space bash again as shown on the screen. Finally we can install wadroid by simply typing sudo apt install wadroid. To enable wadroid you need to type sudo system control space enable space hyphen hyphen now space wadroid hyphen container again as shown on the screen. Close the terminal and from the menu you should be able to start wadroid. From the drop down choose gapps as this will allow you to use the play store. Now press download. Note that this can take quite a while to run. When it is finished click done. You can now run wadroid from the menu and it will start up. A message will appear saying that this device isn't Play Protect certified. To get around this, open a web browser and go to https colon forward slash forward slash www.google.com forward slash android forward slash uncertified. Now you need to open the terminal window again as we need to get your Android ID. Wadroid must be running when you do this. From the terminal, type sudo space wadroid space shell and enter your password. Now copy the line of text from the word shell up until the end of the gservices.db from the web page and paste it in the terminal. Right click and copy and then in the terminal right click and paste. Your cursor should just be the greater than symbol. Now copy the line starting select star from main up until after the equal sign. You can see here if you paste the whole thing it's hard to get the cursor back into position and you have to type android underscore id after the equals anyway. As I said before the full commands are in the description so you can just go to the description and copy and paste them in. When you see the android id select it and right click and copy and paste into the web page as shown here. Click the I'm not a robot and then click register. Now this can take about 10 to 15 minutes to take effect so don't expect it to work straight away. In fact I also recommend rebooting your computer at this point. When you open Android now the message should disappear and you can sign into the Play Store. I won't show you this bit for security reasons but once you are signed in you can install Android apps. Not all apps will work perfectly because you are using a computer rather than a tablet or phone. And performance isn't brilliant, but your experience will be determined by how powerful your computer is. But for now, that is it. That is the end of the tutorial. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you next time on Everyday Linux User.